Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video here this week. Now today we're going to be talking about why you should buy the highest C rated LiPo that you possibly can. Now it is very common for a lot of new hobbyists to enter the RC world thinking that this idea is a bad idea. And let's go ahead and go through a quick review of our C rating to understand why. As a quick review, the C rating of a lithium polymer battery pack allows us to understand what kind of output current that battery pack is going to provide to us. Now there is a continuous rated C rating and there can also be a peak rated C rating on our lithium polymer battery pack. So it's important to know which one you're actually looking at. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna be only talking about continuous ratings. Let's look at an example where we have a 20 C rated battery pack, as well as a rating for the capacity at 5,000 milliamp hour. Now our formula to get the actual output current of our battery pack is going to be the C rating multiplied by the capacity of our battery pack only in amp hour. So we do have to make a conversion. So our 5,000 milliamp hour battery pack is actually five amp hour and we multiply that by our 20 C rating. Now when we do that, we get a final answer of 100 amps. Now can you imagine if this 20 C rating would have been a 60 C rating? Now all of a sudden we get about three amps of continuous discharge current from our battery pack. The quick question that we want to answer here is what does all of that mean? Well, 300 amps is not the amount of power that that battery pack is going to cram and force down the throat of your motor. That's the first important thing to understand. Your motor is only going to draw what it needs and what it requires. Now let's talk about the three primary reasons why a high C rating for your specific radio control vehicle is going to be a good thing. At the number one spot, it is going to be all about performance. If you have a high C rating on your battery pack, you are going to get the highest amount of voltage potential out of that battery pack while it is under load. That extra bit of voltage that you're gonna get because it's not going to sag under load is going to bump up your power. Now it's not gonna be a drastic power increase, it's going to be a marginal power increase where you actually may see the biggest benefit is when you are under acceleration. So the radio control car guys that are trying to accelerate hard out of the hole are definitely going to see a bump in those acceleration numbers. Now for the guys that are flying some aggressive electric ducted fan jets or radio control boats, these are the vehicles that take a lot of power continuously to maintain speed you are gonna be able to see that the battery pack in your system is gonna be able to hold a higher voltage under load, which is gonna allow you to get higher top speeds. Who doesn't want more performance in their radio controlled applications? Now, number two is going to have to do with the actual battery pack itself and the temperatures that they end up reaching. If you go with a battery pack that has a higher C rating, you're gonna also see that the battery pack's temperatures is going to drop. And why this is happening is because if you operate that battery pack, let's say it was a 100 amp continuous discharge and your other battery pack option at a higher C rating had a 200 amp discharge. And let's say your actual vehicle is pulling about 70 amps. That 100 amp rated battery pack should be able to handle that 70 amp load no problem. However, that 200 amp battery pack is going to be able to handle it even better. And the way that you're gonna be able to identify the difference between these battery packs is that the higher C rated battery pack is going to operate cooler. Now a cooler operating battery pack is gonna be able to deliver a good amount of performance for an extended period of time. That's a big reason to go with a higher C rating in order to bump up the lifespan of that battery pack. Batteries are not cheap. Now the third reason why you wanna buy the highest C rating that you possibly can is all about that speed control that you have within your power system. A higher LiPo C rating is going to reduce the amount of ripple voltage that your speed control will see. As a result, your speed control's capacitors will run cooler because they have less work to do. Now one thing to mention, if you don't buy the necessary C rating for your specific power system, this can put all kinds of stress right on the capacitors of your speed control. And if they are overworked and overloaded, they can fail. And if they fail, the rest of your speed control is going to fail. Those capacitors on your speed control is the fail safe to the rest of the speed control. 
you don't want to be pushing those capacitors too hard. If you go with a higher C rating for your specific system, you will put less stress and strain on those capacitors within your speed control, therefore increasing the life of your speed control. So as you can see, it's a general trend. We talked about it in a previous video where a cooler running motor is going to be a happier motor. Well, the same thing is true for the battery pack as well as your speed control. Operate them cooler and your lifespan will increase significantly. Now there are a couple points that I quickly want to go over that could actually limit you for your specific radio control vehicle in terms of that C rating. The first and more obvious point is going to be your budget. It is never a good idea to go and overextend yourself in order to get that extra 20 or 30 C rating within your battery pack. Yes, that extra 20 or 30 C will help benefit you, but if you've made the calculation and you realize that 45 C is going to be a a safe C rating for your specific build, you don't need to stretch yourself and go higher. That's going to work. Now the other area that may actually limit you is the actual physical size of the battery pack. As you increase the C rating of all battery packs, you also increase the physical size of the battery pack. And if you can't physically fit that battery pack in your radio control vehicle, then obviously it's not going to work for you. So double check the size of those battery packs and make sure that you can can physically get them into your specific vehicle. The other point is that the weight of the battery pack does tend to increase significantly as you increase the C rating of your battery pack. Now I had a plane that I went to a 65C battery and I flew that around for a couple flights and I actually did not like it. It was too heavy for the plane and it didn't feel the exact way that I imagined the plane would feel and therefore what I ended up doing is dropping to a lower C rating, sacrificing a little bit of performance, a little bit of lifespan of the battery pack, but then the plane flew a little bit better at slower speeds and this is what I wanted for that specific radio controlled EDF jet. The same may also be true for your specific build as well. If the extra weight of the battery pack is going to give you some undesirable characteristics, let's say flight characteristics, then it is more than likely not worth throwing in the extra C rating into that battery pack for the benefits that you get out of it. You have to pick and choose what you want to balance out in terms of all the different choices that we have. When I am selecting a specific battery pack for my radio control vehicle, one of the first things I'm always looking at is that C rating. Now I wanna make sure I maximize the C rating for my specific application and at the very least, make sure I meet the minimums. If I require a 100 amp draw from my motor, I'm going to make sure my battery pack can deliver at least 50% more than what I'm actually going to be pulling from it. This way I give myself some headroom. Now in addition to that, I want to find the highest battery pack that I possibly can. So in other words, I will typically end up well over 200 amps. This way I can maximize performance, increase reliability of the battery pack as well as the speed control within my system. Well guys, that pretty well sums it up for this video. I hope you were able to learn something about C ratings for your specific radio control vehicle. As always, like the video if you do, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that I can see you in that next video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next Monday.